Hi, my name is Dr. Ron Verrant. I'm the Director of Pediatric Emergency Medicine at Schneider Children's Medical Center of Israel. Today I'm going to talk to you about point-of-care ultrasound and fluid aspiration by emergency physicians and its association with shorter time to diagnosis and treatment of septic hips in children. We know that septic joints may be seen at all age groups, but it is most common with children less than three years of age, and it is definitely more common in children as opposed to adults. The most common joints that are affected are the lower limbs, with the knee having the highest frequency, and right after it, the hip joint. The diagnosis is challenging, especially in the hip joint, um, because this is a deep joint, and it is relied on physical exam and findings, laboratory studies, and microbiological cultures. And it is greatly assisted by imaging studies and specifically ultrasound to diagnose the effusion in the hip. The technique for the ultrasound is first placing the transducer over the inguinal ligament and we can first see and locate the femoral head. Once we see the femoral head, we rotate the transducer 90 degrees with the marker towards the umbilicus. And then we are able to demonstrate the hip joint on its longitudinal axis. When we have fluid, it is easily identified as an effusion, and we can see how the capsule becomes concave. Now, hip arthrocentesis is an urgent procedure since we want to decrease any potential for damage to the cartilage and long-term uh, limping. Usually, this is performed by the orthopedic surgeons, but this requires coordination between the pediatric emergency medicine staff and the orthopedic surgeons, uh, and sometimes even radiology. Our study goal was to examine the impact of pediatric emergency medicine performed hip arthrocentesis on time to diagnosis, time to antibiotic treatment, and the general length of hospitalization. Now, in our uh, institution, pediatric emergency medicine physicians have been using point-of-care ultrasound in an increasing frequency, and in recent years have also started performing hip arthrocentesis on their own with uh, point-of-care ultrasound guidance. So, did we performed a retrospective chart review. We looked at all children with septic hip diagnosis between zero to 18 years of age, and we divided them into two groups, those who had an aspiration done by the orthopedic surgeons and those who the aspiration of the hip joint was performed by the pediatric emergency medicine staff. Now, when you look at the general demographics of the children and their uh, blood test results, you can see that there isn't any statistically significant difference. The age was pretty similar, uh, fever as well, about the same amount of uh, leukocytosis and absolute neutrophil count, CRP as an inflammatory marker was not much different, and the size of the effusion was similar in both groups. To break it down and you look at the two groups and you consider the time to diagnosis, you can see that the group that had their hips aspirated by the emergency uh, physicians, you can see that the time to diagnosis was considerably shorter, was 5.2 hours as opposed to 17.6 hours with a significant difference with a p-value of 0 0.01. And when you look at how many of the children needed ultrasound by the radiologist, well, obviously when the orthopedic surgeons did it, they did not do not perform their own ultrasounds, and so the vast majority uh, needed uh, ultrasound by radiology, which really increased the resource utilization of the hospital. It's interesting that the post-procedural hospital stay was shorter in the ER group as well, but unfortunately it was not statistically significant, and this might be due to the small sample size, which was just not powered enough. Solutions uh, were that children undergoing pediatric emergency medicine hip aspirations had shorter time to diagnosis and treatment, reduced hospital resource utilization, 
and shorter length of hospitalization, although we recognize that this has not been statistically significant, and this probably needs further research with larger uh, study participants. Thank you very much for uh, tuning in and listening to this uh, presentation.